Well, before I give you a video tour around where we're moored in a beautiful area near Stansted Abbots, I thought I'd better explain where exactly we are. And uh, many of you won't know the Lee and Stort network. And here they are coming up here. You can see from Hartford down to London, that is the River Lee, or the Lee Navigation, as we should say. And the orange one from Bishop Stortford to Hoddesdon is the Stort Navigation. Our boat is uh, normally moored uh, on the Stort, round about here, very close to Bishop Stortford at Hallingby Marina. And we sail down here to where it says Great Anwell. And we're moored just up, let's move up here. We're moored round here in sort of Great Anwell above Stanton Abbots. Now, before I zoom in and show you exactly where we're moored, I just want to talk about the facilities in this area because that's important if you're coming all this way through London to get here. So at Stansted Abbots, we've got all the shops you'd need. You've got co-op and lots of other shops and, and there's a big town in Ware later on, I'll show you. But uh, you've also got the Stansted Marina and of course for boaters, that's a very useful thing to have. At the marina, you may have seen me pull into there on uh, Vlog 17. Um, you've got all the facilities you need, diesel, water, L sand point, uh, pump out, dry dock, full workshops, mechanics, you name it, you've got everything. Plus, of course, you've got the shops here, as I've said. And if that's not enough for you, you can move up here to where, which is about a 10 minute walk in the other direction from where I'm moored, and it wears a much bigger town, big Tesco's, loads of shops, everything you could dream of, really. And we're moored down here, Great Amwell, you'll see Amwell Nature Reserve. And we're more just where the uh, cursor is there. So I'll just zoom in a little bit and show you where we are. And our boat is moored almost exactly here, just before where it says Amwell Walkway. That actually is the old train line, which I'll talk about on my video. Um, so basically, you've got everything you could dream of here. You've got towns both ways, 10, 15 minute walk each way. You've got a full, fully stacked marina that's got everything you could want. Fantastic views, a nature park, wonderful. Anyway, I'll now uh, get on and do my little tour and show you round the area. Okay, so I've waxed lyrical about Stanford Abbots. Why more here? Well, let's have a little look. Straight opposite where we are are two bird hides, part of the wetlands, uh, old quarries that have been filled with water when they've gotten all the gravel out. Uh, so you can walk over there, one of them is quite a way round, the hide is, so you can walk around there. Beautiful views, views. down the cut there, you go to where, about a mile away. That bridge over the top is the old train line, the old Buntingford train line, and that takes you all the way up through the villages, up to uh, through Wareside where we live, to uh, Widford, Much Haddam, lovely, lovely long walks along there, really picturesque. Uh, there's a dragonfly walk on the fields over there behind those trees which that bridge leads to which is really nice and down here at the other bridge down there you'll see a viewpoint and that's where we're going next walkways off there takes you off to the old start of the old train line where you can go through those woods probably walk back that way and say so we're approaching the uh, big bridge and a walkway I'm on the big bridge now, there's our boat down there and uh, gives you some idea of why people come here, it's so popular. Welcome to the reserve. That's one of the hides you can walk to, which I showed you from opposite our boat, that's the far one. Takes you all around over there round to here and uh, you can walk all the way down there in fact this uh, if you walk you can walk down the Lee Valley Country Park sort of to Tottenham way and further in Walthamstow if you really want to do that let's see what's around today over that woods over there you get hobbies in the summer they come over you can see them feeding over the water on the dragonflies. Uh, the reed beds are an absolute um, warbler's delight for your reed warblers and other birds. Um, you get bittens here, one of Britain's barest, rare, barest, rarest birds. I haven't seen one yet. 
but uh, you do get them here um, more and more so of late so yeah it's a great place to come and of course all your waders down there this is the board that tells you what's been uh, happening lately uh, TAS if you want to come and join the task force cleaning out the scrub and of course there's the birds that have been spotted of late um, eight swallows that's pretty early they must be freezing because we certainly are so I'm going to walk down from here to the Gladwin hide down the side of a river it's on the left you get another good viewpoint it's about a quarter of a mile down here so I've walked down, down from that white post in the background there, you just about see, that's where the viewpoint is. And uh, here's the Gladwin hide, I'm about to go in and have a little look, see what's around. And there's some um, boat mooring down there, and that's that whale lock, one of the swing bridges we came through on the way up here. Right, let's go see what's about. So I've got the hide to myself. Uh, as you can see, goes way down there. What's around? Canada geese, coots, moorhens, gulls of various types. None of the reed warblers here yet. You can often see them down here building. Very peaceful. I'll go have a look. Out the other, out the other windows. It was from one of the uh, hides on this site, one opposite the boat actually, where I once uh, had a wonderful sight. Well, look at the dragonflies just outside the uh, opening where we were watching, and a hobby swooped down and snatched it about six foot in front of where we were sitting to snatch this dragonfly uh, in its claw straight in front of us. Gorgeous sight. We've got a black headed gull today. There's helpful guides um, to help you see what you spot. You see a lot more birds than what's on there, but they're sort of the commonest ones. We've seen quite a lot down here, as I've said. Great place to visit. And it's free. Okay, I'm going to walk back to the boat now, um, but I'll go back through that woods I showed you on the way. I've had a good time walking around looking at the birds. I've got my trusty bins. We do spend a fair bit of time looking at the birds. I think I mentioned earlier, I really would recommend when you're on your boat trips, just make a, a bird list for the trip of everything you see on that trip. And uh, you know, that way you get really excited if you see a starling because you haven't got one on the list to see how many birds you can see. You know, you're searching desperately for some boring bird like that. Although, none of them are boring, really. Right, I'll put the phone down. Concentrate on what I'm doing. So, back on the main bridge now. I'm going to walk down this way towards the train line. That buggy's coming from. If you cross the train line, you get to the road. That's where Victoria's been parking. when she's come to visit us. And we're going to go wander off through the woods and we'll walk away. There's a crisscrossing, you can go so many different routes. When we first moved here this is a working quarry with all big conveyor belts taken out of the gravel. Some of it was uh, you know free to walk, it's all free to walk on but there was quite a few bits that were sort of roped off and uh, conveyor belts galore. A conveyor belt used to run under this bridge taking the gravel somewhere or other gravel dumps everywhere. This little bit's particularly nice in the spring and summer. I've seen the little birds flitting from side to side. Warblers, black caps and the like. Very nice. I heard a Chetty's warbler yesterday, saw one yesterday. I'm not sure if you pronounce it Setis or Chetty's. I've heard both. If you know, let me know. Anyway, let's see what's up here. End of his first little road. You got a choice. That way takes you back to the river. We moored down there and up on the left. There's a sort of a park area there, some benches and stuff, a lot of people picnic there. Uh, more woods and stuff there. And we're gonna walk up here, which takes you to the track bed 
of the uh, the old the bunt as it was called the Buntingford Railway went from Stanford Abbott Station sorry Stanford St Margaret's little city train bus I'll get my name wrong and uh, took took you all the way to Buntingford and just down here in that past that massive trees down there you can just see a raised bit that's the start of the track bed and this is the railway track bed off to Buntingford and that there is still the main line to Ware and Hartford off up there so we're going to go up this way there's a chiff chaff in there you can hear that very distinctive sound cute little warbler, I can just see him on that far branch not sure if you can see, there he is hopping around at the back there just flew up I think it's great for warblers and small birds here now this Buntingford line opened 1864 I think closing about in 1964 almost exactly 100 years it ran for it was quite successful at first and there's a lot of local stations and they were hoping all the way through to Cambridge but the funding never came and the um, net result was eventually in the 50s and 60s it started losing quite a lot of money um, with the advent of motor cars and cheap vehicles and bus services and also they had a lot of employees each station had station masters, signalmen they had people manning the level crossings and uh, Mr Beeching decided cut it if you look at videos or cine films actually as it were then of the railway in its last few years there's hardly anybody on the on the train it had very few passengers and um, it was cut now of course connections through to London it would be fantastically successful but hey it makes for a nice walk um, enjoy so there's our boat I'll say we moored just after or just before but it's where you're looking the uh, old railway bridge Obviously this is not the original railway bridge, it's been replaced part of the walkway to make a lovely long walkway um, Certainly used to be the train bridge So here's the uh, actual bridge It's not the train bridge as I said, it's a urban replacement There's us moored down there And there's miles of walkways over there And we're about a mile of that way. Well, I'm back at the boat now, and Linda's put the kettle on. I'm about to have a nice cup of tea. If you've enjoyed my little walk and tour around, you know what to do. Please click like and maybe even subscribe if you're not. And I'll put uh, underneath now, you'll probably see the words just down here, what three words of where we are. If you fancy more in here too. So I hope you do. Let me know if you ever do. Bye. Thank you.